this is mommy sexual reporting for duty yo yo what's going on everybody so in today's video i wanted to try something a little different now if you guys recall that scene in episode 8 of madoka magica where you essentially have hitomi and kiosuke talking as sayaka is watching from afar now as a lot of us know this scene is what eventually led to hitomi and kiosuke you know becoming an item but what's interesting is that in the anime, they never specifically tell us what type of dialogue is being expressed between these two during this time frame. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe analyze the scene a little bit more closely and maybe try to determine just based on what little information is presented as to what type of conversation that the two of them are having. You know, of course, this is just going to be my own interpretation. So let's just see what we get. So I have episode 8 fired up here. And so as I said, okay, so we have Itomi. Um, now, what's really interesting is if you look, I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can play this back. I may not be able to because of the kind of player that I'm using. But le let me try and see if I can. Okay, so... Now, the way that Hitomi's head popped up just there sort of makes me think, like, you know when a character is having an outburst of, like, really being happy? In other words, I think she, she's probably, you know, opening herself up to really compliment Kiyosuke a lot. You know, that, that that's the feeling that I kind of get. It's like, you know, she lifts up her head, like, all enthusiastically, you know, saying, you know, oh, my God, I think you're so awesome, great. You know, she's basically complimenting him. And so... That, that, that's kind of what I feel like this scene might be implying here. So she's basically saying things like, oh, I think you're great. I've always admired you and your ability to play the violin. You know, that's what I'm thinking. And I think, and my interpretation of this from the facial expression is Kiyosuke is kind of surprised. Wow, I had no idea that you watched me from afar. Or I had no idea that you that, that, that you took notice of the, of the way that I played. I, I just, I just kind of get this uh, impression that he's kind of like, wow, really? You know, he kind of has that look like, oh, wow, really? You were, you were watching me this whole time? Or you really think it's that great? Or something like that? Like, he's kind of just like... So as we move on... So they're talking, and I kind of feel like... I really feel like Hitomi is really confessing all of her feelings toward Kiyosuke. Like, uh, my interpretation is that, you know, she's basically, you know, again, she's complimenting him, and she's saying things like, oh, I've always watched you from afar. I've always admired your dedication, your amazing, you know, playing skills, and I've always thought you were great. You know, she, she's essentially just really opening up and really, you know, expressing all these good things about what she noticed of him. And he's kind of like, wow... Really? You really? And now, now, and, and, and I like this right here because if you notice, he, he's taking his hand and he's putting it, um, you know, in the back of his head, which I think kind of signals that he's embarrassed now. So after he told me essentially confesses all these different things, he's now embarrassed over it because now, now, now it's really starting to sink in and now he's thinking, oh, wow, you, you know, it's like, really, <laughs> this is the kind of thing where it's like, oh my God, I had no idea he felt like that or I had no idea I was being watched. And he might be saying things like, oh my God, well, I'm not that great. I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> so I think he's kind of embarrassed at this point. That's the interpretation that I get, which I kind of feel like high highlights the fact even more that he told me was, um, you know, complimenting him and saying, you know, all these great things about him. So now he's kind of embarrassed. Now it looks like he's smiling. I wouldn't be surprised if now they're, 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 they're talking a little bit more about the nature of classical music. Because it's interesting because um, I played, now I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm hoping to upload it soon, but... There's actually a scene in the portable Madoka Magic game where... Like, if you guys remember how Sayaka had all that information in regards to classical music, now, in this game, and, and granted, I don't know if this is something that is considered canon to the anime, but it's something to think about because there's a scene in Madoka Portable where Sayaka thanks Hitomi for some information regarding classical music, and when Hitomi was talking about the subject of that, she... Again, I don't remember the exact dialogue, but it was implied based on what she said that she knew a lot about classical music and that some of the information that Sayaka had picked up actually came from her. So it would make sense that the two of them would have something to talk about in the form of music. I mean, it, it's shown that Hitomi has appreciation for the type of music that 
uh, Kyosuke plays. So I kind of think right now we're, we're kind of having a moment where once again, I think they're both sort of talking about, you know, classical music as a whole. And uh, it's the kind of thing where, I, because of the fact that he's smiling, I think I think they're they're kind of reaching like an, an, an understanding when it comes to that type of music. I, I kind of feel like that's where the conversation is going. Like instead of it being completely focused on him, uh, as it was before, that's why he was embarrassed and everything. I kind of feel like now it's it's now it's focusing more so on the nature of the kind of music that Kiyosuke plays. So I think that they're finding some type of you know connection in this regard. Now continuing on. So yeah, that 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 that's kind of what I'm getting. I think that they're talking about because I because now that because now that they've gotten you know the awkward stuff out of the way, uh, at least from Kyosuke's side. Now again, they're talking about how great you know classical music is and everything. So okay, so he just nodded. Um, another thing that I think might have also happened in this scene, because obviously the whole point of this scene was the fact that Hitomi was trying to confess to Kyosuke. And I kind of feel like, you know, even though they were probably talking about the nature of the music that he plays, I think that, I think that right, I think that right then and there, Kiyosuke was accepting uh, Hitomi's um, confession to be his girlfriend. I kind of feel like he was just nodding his head right then and there as to say, yes, let's go out. Uh, at least that's the interpret. at least that's my interpretation of that. Uh, so I think he told me might look relieved here. I don't know if that's relief. It could be relief, possibly, that he just accepted uh, her confession just based on the fact that you know her eyes are closed and her head is down. To that is to say, oh, thank goodness you you thank you know thank goodness that you responded that way. That's again that's my interpretation. And, uh, and and it would make even more sense that she would reach this conclusion now just based on the fact that, you know, Sayaka, that it's, it's shifting over to Sayaka, so it's almost as if to say she has just seen uh, Kiyosuke accept the invitation, so it would make sense that they would switch to her because now it's showing that, um, you know, she, she's going to, you know, sink even more because of what just happened here. So... And uh, let's see here. It's kind of hard to say what he might be saying at this point. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, what could he be saying now? He's smiling. He's looking at her. He's not embarrassed anymore. Um, maybe he's saying something along the lines of, oh, I'm sure we'll probably have a lot of fun. Or maybe he's just confirming it to her once again. Yeah, let's do it. Or, or something along those lines. I just think that the, essentially... The, the confession has been said, he has accepted it, so I guess the only thing that's going to be said now is, you know, I mean, they, they could be making plans for something, but I really think it's just his way of confirming this again, or maybe he's complimenting her and saying something that he thinks that he's, he's, he's talking, he's saying something about her, because so far I haven't really gotten the sense that he's really complimented, he told me at this point, so maybe he's saying something, you know, about her in particular at this point. And now she's smiling with her eyes closed. Um, again, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the, well, the, I, I, like I said, that's what I think is going on here. I think perhaps, um, I think perhaps, uh, you know, he he confirmed it, and now he told me is just you know she's really happy that it's official that they're now officially going out. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this was just a random idea that I came up with because I've always had my own interpretation as to what that scene meant in episode 8, but I never like really took the time to watch it to the point of being able to come up with my full opinion as to what was being expressed and how it was being expressed. So I just wanted to take a, a closer look. So I want to hear from you guys now. Based on the interaction that Kiyosuke and Hitomi have had within the... Um, within episode eight, what do you think was specifically said uh, between the two of them? Because the anime intentionally leads it out, so it kind of forces us, all of us, to come up with our own interpretation of what was said. So what do you think was said between the two of them? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you later. This is Mommy Sexual signing out. Peace!